What's happening, YouTube? Ace Trainer Kage here, back again, once again, with another episode of Phoenix Rising. Now, in the last episode, you guys, you guys saw me deal with the bridge situation, right? Um, small little problem. My editor, um, that I'm using went and pretty much ate my entire last episode. Kind of stings. Um, which sucks, because, I mean, that's information and stuff you guys miss out on. And, unfortunately, I it's not like I can re-record it because I saved. I'm a little upset, but... Not much has changed, I will end up saying that, we end up spending 30 minutes getting a few months and getting a few items. So I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center and show you what we have in the PC. Um, no, stop. Look, go away. Gotta get used to the buttons again. Um, after the Yanma, this is the end, end of the episode you guys end up seeing. I end up finding a Poison Heal um, Shroomish name. Uh, we named it Gunther. Then we found Little Dina, who is a male. <laughs> and then we found Clyde, who is a female. So, unfortunately, didn't get to end up seeing that part. But, um, I'm going to end up going through, showing you guys what exactly we do end up having. Um or did we end up leaving the on the forest over here because well they gotta fix the bridge so we decided to go to this guy and he sent us to the mountain so we took off to the mountain and here we are now we went here and fought and uh, found a few items fought these guys um, and moved along and found a familiar face. We found um, Jen. Jen? I think it was Jen. Um, she showed us that if you use growth here, berries grow a lot faster. Um, like, instant. And it may be because of the Green Guardian. So, I feel like this is too loud, so I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn my headphones down so I can hear myself talk, but um, she ended up so, and telling us that the Green Guardian, and I went in here and I thought, Green Guardian, hmm, didn't like the war, Lord and behold, it's Verizion, makes sense. So we ended up uh, surf, uh, circling the grass and stuff like that, and found new mons, new items, stuff like that met these guys, they told us a few things, but before we end up continuing on, quit talking to John, we're going to go to our Pokemon, give you guys a, a nice team recap, because first, we have good old Jalal, our lovely Levin Talo, with an adamant nature, with guts, rock and peck, tackle, growl, and quick attack. Next, we have Minimoo with um, holding a leftovers with a relaxed nature. Uh, level 11 mill tank. I'm all over the place. So, with Scrappy, support those pesky ghost types, rocking stomp, tackle, fence scroll, and milk, milk drink. I need to get my words. Then we have Peppy, Peppy Lepiu, our level 11 stunky with a careful nature. With Aftermath, Rocking Thief, Focus Energy, Poison Gas, and Screech. He's, uh, each, everybody's pretty much getting up there in the levels and stuff that we need. So, next we have Drummer Blue, our level 12 Poliwag, holding a Mystic Water with... I said War. War. With Hasty Nature, with Water Absorb for any of those water types I want to soak us. And then we have oh, Rocking Hypnosis, Water Gun, Bubble, and Water Sport. And you get that changed off on him. He's about to level up. 
Yep, got to level up. Then we have our starter, our level 12 Grumpy, our Growlithe, with Relax Nature, fire, uh, Flash Fire, and Ember, Bite, Tackle, and Leer. And last but surely not least, we have our big boy Nappy, our level 13 Ghastly with an experience share right now. Honestly, he doesn't need it, but I want to keep it on him because he ain't got much. With a relaxed nature, just like our cool ass dude, with Levitate, so no ground types can touch him, rocking Lick, Hypnosis, Curse, and Knee Look. Now, that's said and done, we can end up moving on. And, as I said, Lynn's here. So we end up... Ooh, there's a TM over there. We're going to end up talking to her. Or at least getting the... Uh, find out what they're talking about. Uh, mountains, Barbrance, Paradise under the Aegis of the Green Guardian. The land was fertile. They wanted for nothing. Okay? But war came to Hawthorne. One that would see the land consumed in chaos that would not end until the legendary Ho intervened. In this war, many Pokemon suffered, and the people of Mesto lost the trust of the Guardian. Oh, that's insane. Wrong button. Exact savage, ex exacting savage retribution. The guardian cast the people from its mountain. Oh, that's a mess. The guardian's heart grew bitter. Oh, this is the slowest text ever. And with it, the land grew barren. No human was safe, treading upon this ma on this now forsaken land. And the once beautiful temple of the Guardian fell into ruin. Oh, I guess she's done. This person keeps, uh, seems to be too wrapped up in the story to notice you. Cool. She's telling of the history of Mesto Mountain. This is so interesting to me. I think I'll chill here, Ace. You go on ahead. This person seems to be too wrapped up in the story. Cool. Alright, so they're too wrapped up in the story. We got pretty much a lot of the story. Text is moving stupid slow. Oh, look, a little dead. Well, it's good. Sheesh. Because unfortunately, outside, this thing is insane slow. She would not stop talking, so I'm going back down the mountain. Well, there's a lot going on over here. There's two Lepa berries. Oh, there's a lot of trainers over here, actually. Citrus? Yeah. Give me that. Oh, yeah. She is a trainer. Oh, the mountain! This was ministique. I don't, I don't speak French. My school didn't teach French. It taught the most basic stuff that it could. Don't get me wrong. I liked my school. Met me, cool friends, and stuff like that. Heck, did nothing. Stomp this birdie. Do we need a grinding montage? I don't know. I feel like we need a grind. Fucking level 11s and stuff. Beauty flag.
speed it up a bit. Oh, snap! Thing had some power behind it, all right. So. Catch it, Ember. Dang, dude! What? Yo, that beautiful light did not go down to an ember. What is happening? The hell? That makes no sense. What? How do you not die to an ember from a Growlithe, beauty fly? I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. Absolutely baffled. Alright. So... Oh, I saw an item. Real quick, we're gonna head back down the mountain. That's a fampy. I want that. I do not care. I want it. Yay! Got a little Bambi. She's so cute! She's so cute! Bambi's big ears serve as broad bands. When it becomes hot, it flaps the ears busily to cool down. Even the young are very strong. And stupid strong. Literally, not even, he's a half, a, she's a half a meter, literally weighs 33.5 kilograms. That's insane. You mean it. Spelling it wrong. I'm gonna say that I can't spell, so Penelope, and I'm spelling it that way. Miss Penelope. Level 10, bashful nature. Not bad. Huge on HP. I like it. Pick up. Neat. Growl, defense curl, flail, and takedown. Alright. Alright. Let me deal with it. Alright. Oh my god. I hate that it lags. Like, stupid bad. hard to get through and do anything, you know, with it lagging like this. I'm gonna go kill my mons, because freaking beautiful light started sweeping on me. So, how is you guys day? <laughs> So yeah, when you made it to the mountain, nothing really, not much, honestly, has happened between the last episode and this episode. So, I mean, it's whatever. I'm a little upset about it because I'm trying to be a decent con content con creator, you know? Decent. And I can't do that if my freaking program's eating my freaking work. This is 
what I get for multitasking, you know, trying to get things done, trying to end up, you know, get up there and get up there in the world. And I'm sad. I'm sad about it. Get ready to cue back. Another brave trainer wishing to challenge the mountain. Tell me, what is your name? Ah, name is called a, a wonderful name. There are legends that names tell you much about a person. Well, I sometimes wonder whether it is the name who shapes us. Or us who shapes the name. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for indulging an old lady in... Her ramblings. The most exciting part of this festival is the race up the mountain. At least while energetic, build on budding, budding, budding trainers like yourself. I could knock that word out with the head. Legends tell us of a certain night during the war of Hawthorne. They were one of the a noted so so been Nears, trusted comrades. They hurried up the dangerous burden barren, barren mountain together with their trusted partner Pokemon. They wished to find the old guardian of the mountain. They wanted to do anything they could in order to rekindle the warmth in its frozen heart. Only they could save only that could save the people from starvation, as they would Besieged, besieged by the king's forces, rude Mesto Macrons could only fill their stomachs up for so long. The night succeeded and was dubbed the Green Night, when the Mesto Mountain once again became very ver verdant with life. To honor his memory and prove their own world to the Guardian. Trainers follow in the night's footsteps, stoops, cliffs, and slopes. They seek the form, the fable tittle in hopes of finding there a reward from the guardian itself. Take on the challenge if you wish, but stay vid vigilant. Every trainer who spots you will want to battle. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's one more thing. The Green Knight kept his beloved Pokemon by his side at all times. As such, the trainers ahead keep their old Pokemon at their side, too. Maybe this will be a good time to let one of your own dresser Pokemon out. Partners out. You already have one out. Definitely not going this way. Swerve! Dang it! Come on! I'm already killed the- Oh, that's a Rhyhorn! Oh, it's a little Rayleigh! It's a little Rayleigh! Uh, switch it. I'm gonna put it to sleep and not use a water gun. Oh my goodness, what is up with these mods just bothering my team? Sheesh, dude! Just gonna, you know, stomp your head in and just knock you out. Excuse me. What the heck is happening? It's not like I'm stupid under level. God, Mini Mo is our freaking tank. Ain't doing jack. Oh wow, that did actually do some damage. So annoying. Power of Mo is with me. Nah, frick. Can you stop? 
We need it one more time. Okay, let's not. Come on. Two, three. Yeah. There we go. Nightshade. Ooh. Yes. Yes, I will. I will. I will take out Lick. Rhyhorn. Spikes Pokemon. One meter tall. Yo, this is tiny. What the heck? One meter tall? It literally is three feet tall. 115 kilograms. Once it starts running, it doesn't stop. Its tiny brain makes it so stupid that it can't remember why it started running in the first place. That's mean. I don't feel like it's stupid. Riley. Rash nature. Special attack up, special defense down. That is horrendous. But dang, look at that. Rockhead prevents from recoil. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Alright. Really? That's stupid. Are you on a Pokemon journey too? Come on, let's battle. That is stupid. He just turned around. I didn't even do anything. <sighs> so mad. Four Pokemon? Oh, wonderful. Oh, look. The Wubat. Great. Oh, that did pretty good damage. Confusion, huh? No. Let's see, Grelith. We got something for that. So um, I went to Rockfest this past Saturday. Um, this, my past Saturday, when this goes up, I don't know when this goes up. Dude, what is happening? Why isn't things dying? My moms cannot be that freaking frail to not be able to take out things that they're super effective against. I mean, the same freaking... They're single-stage mons. Or base-stage mons. What? Uh-oh. See, this would make sense if this survived, because the special attack dropped. But it didn't. It was a crit. Okay. I'll give it the hat. I'm just mad. I'm not dropping things. So it went... Rubbin. Oh. Uh. No. Like, why didn't that kill? Does everything have like a maxed out IVs or something? The hell? Um. But. As I was saying, again, I went to Rockfest. It was freaking awesome. My back hurt. My back still hurts. But I had a decent trip to KC. Um, hello. Go forward. Thank you. 
Where's that? There it is. And that? Nothing. Dope. Is that a nurse? It is a nurse. Mud Bray. Um, so, I don't know how many of you guys actually went, but Five Finger Death Punch was there, and it was freaking awesome. Oh, got a battle heart so she, well, we can rest. Um, they came out to Barney. Barney's, I love you, you love me. Like, they played the entire song and then hit the drums, like, stupid hard. <laughs> It was one of those things is like, this is actually pretty, pretty entertaining. And then, like, halfway through the show, um, to the song I Remember, he ended up bringing a couple kids up so they can end up singing in, and he gave them a bunch of souvenirs and stuff, you know, to remember the day by. It was freaking awesome, like, I really, really enjoyed seeing Five Finger Death Punch in personally in concert but something else that really struck me was that wolves was there so i don't know how many of you guys actually um know of bad wolves they decided to do a tribute song oh copycat huh tribute song to the cranberries lead singer and they took her zombie, they took their zombie song and reversed it a little bit, changed a few things on it, but they broke, and they made a world record. Um, they are the very first heavy metal band to end up hitting all of iTunes' top listings ever. So, I thought that was really dope, but they and they were there as well, and they, where is my speed up, thank you, they went in here and they played Zombie. It was so cool too, because um, they were, how do I get to that? Yo, guys, that's not funny. How, why do you put Pokeballs in places where people can't get them? This doesn't make any sense. Insurgents did that too! Um... Where is it? But they went in here and they're like... They did a couple songs and they looked at... Um, and they went to the crowd and they're like, You guys want to hear one more? You guys turn around! Yell at them and say, One more! One more song! And so we went in here and... Everybody just turned around and was like, one more song, one more song. And the guys are just casually like, yep, yeah, you're good. And they're just like, one more song. Oh, wait, wait, right, wait, really? We got it? We can do it? One more? Oh, dang, look at that. <laughs> that was easy. It was freaking funny, but they went in here and they're like, and then everybody's just uh, turned back around. They're like, so be, so be. So be they're like, let me get a moment to end up starting. So he starts telling everybody that they end up making the record and everything. And I did it again. Um, and we, everybody was just freaking stoked and everything to end up uh, having it. And it's like, they went here and they're just like, you know what? I want to hear every single one of you guys from here to the other stage. If you hear this. I want you singing along. You know the words. There's no need to go to here and help you. I want the heavens to hear you. I want her to end up hearing you sing this with all your power. And it gave me goosebumps to be there because the entire place. Okay, just turn around. Why not? Was just amazing. It felt freaking amazing to end up being there. It was one of my favorite moments thus far for Rockfest. But freaking amazing. 
freaking amazing. And we're gonna end up taking care of this. Yo, what is happening? I don't, I don't understand. My mons are getting bodied. Thank you. Am I min rolling that bad? That's crazy. Okay, I need to go back to this nurse and heal. I hate going back, man. Oh, she's right there. But, uh, additionally to that, there was a couple other... See, I Prevail uh, was actually kind of decent. Uh, not big on the whole screamo bands and stuff like that, but I Prevail was actually entertaining. They had fun, and I like the scene that when it comes to uh, bands and stuff. It's like having a blast, you know? Ooh, temple time. Do you have your favorite type of Pokemon? Type? I'm sure if I made a list of who on my top listings, I'm sure I'll find a favorite typing, but no, I don't have an exact favorite typing. Oh, look at Deerling. But, let's see, what else? During their part of, really? Neat. Um, during their part, there was a, there was a bunch of crowd surfers. Like, I, last year I went, there wasn't as many crowd surfers. There was a lot of other things. Um, Pometus. Um, but there wasn't that many leafage. Ow! There wasn't as many as many uh, crowd surfers, and I unlucky. Ooh, wing attack! I was uh, very unlucky and end up getting. So my sister-in-law was in front of me and my wife was right next to her. So we had, I had them right there and then my brother-in-law was in front of them who ended up having a, a car crash the day before, which is, it's amazing that he survived at all. Uh, crazy that how much a body can take and how lucky he was. Oh really, effects were, come on. Um, but, uh, they were in front of me, and I hear somebody's like, hey, watch out! And I turn around, and I see this guy coming over, like, if I didn't turn around and put my arms up and actually pick him up and toss him, no one was helping me, pick him up and toss him over them to end the continuing, because no one else was helping me around other than in front of my brother-in-law. He would have came down on top of me. If I ducked, he would have came down on top of them. And if I didn't do anything, he would come down on me, and I would be even more hurt. So I was doing okay for the for the morning and everything that we got there. I was like, yeah, I, I, I think I can do this. I just have to make sure I sit down after each session, you know, each band that plays that I'm listening to and chill whenever I'm not really interested in the band. And then that happened, and I was done. I was burnt. Um, it hurt so bad afterwards because I got him up and over, and I was just like, huh, uh uh. And my body's just like, hey, that was stupid. So I dealt with a lot of pain for the rest of the day. Energy root, dope. But, with that, you guys, we made it to the temple. I'm going to end up calling it there. Because I don't think there's another item, but if there is, I'll find it later. But, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go over here and hit that like button. 
And if you want to keep up with the rest of the series, make sure you end up hitting the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss out because subscribing is not enough anymore. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.